the ideas were very much coming from the director, uh, Mara Matushka. Mm -hmm. So she, she had seen the show already several times. So how she works most of the time, we, we went into the studio and we filmed everything in actually a blue box or actually a green box because we were wearing <laughs> blue clothes so that doesn't work in a blue box and the piece consists of 12 different pieces so we actually taped everything and then actually only later in the montage that's where she actually um, started to play more around it not so much in the studio itself yet the, the stage piece, we have actually a small little separate space. Mm -hmm. It's very clean, it's very white. It's mm -hmm. just that stage and the lights on it. Mm -hmm. So it's very different than the movie because it's so Not full. fishes, not a... Uh, uh, no fishes, no glass. fishes at all. Yeah. And um, <laughs> no weird back back background, mm -hmm. it's very clean. And, and what about the sound? The sound, we always have sound from the back mm -hmm. coming. So yeah. there's, uh, there are speakers behind us. Mm -hmm. And there is always the concept and the piece, whatever sound is coming out of the speaker, that is the sound of the performer. Mm -hmm, so but if there is text coming out, yeah. then we have to synchronize it on stage. Mm. If there are more abstract sounds coming out, then it's becoming our body language mm. or more an overall general mm -mm. sound. And that's something which is very different in a movie, of course, because we're used to synchronization. We're used to have a lot of special effects and sounds. Yeah. So we kind of take it for granted mm -hmm. in, in that way. But um, the, the musician, he made a very, very, very good job. And he actually really, he pumped up all the sound so much more so that, that it became again, very artificial. Even more bizarre. Yeah. 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 Well, you have a choreographer. Mm -hmm who uh, sort of uh, had the idea, Chris Herring, it's not family of Keith, maybe? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh, and then you have a director for the film. Yeah. And do you know how they work together? Because, well, they... Um, uh, Mara Matushka, the director of the movie, she really enjoys his work mm -mm. very much. She really appreciates how he puts the things on stage and the yeah. performance mm. also. Yeah. And, um, and also from the other way around, actually Chris really likes the way how she makes movies. Mm -mm. And before this movie, they worked already twice together. Oh, okay. And they did exactly the same. So there was already an existing piece mm -mm. and they made a movie out of it. Mm -mm. <coughs> and um, the choreographer gives really everything in her hands. He is there during the shooting and he is giving a lot of um, little ideas also. Oh, maybe it could be better if you mm -hmm. take it, do it like this and that. Mm -hmm. um, so that his own work also comes out better mm -hmm. um, because he has a more detailed view on that. Yeah. And, and in the, but when she starts playing around with it, with the montage, uh, that's, that's, her. that's really hers. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, Chris also afterwards looks at it again. He gives his opinion, feedback, yeah. gives feedback, mm. and she can work mm -hmm. on it. Mm -mm. And um, also the musician Andy, he of course brings those everything together again mm. with the sound. Yeah, they work a lot with artificiality mm -hmm. and where does it become artificial? Mm -hmm. Where is it becoming? Where is depth? Is there still depth in artificiality? Mm -mm. So these were subjects that we were working with. Mm -mm. Also in the theater. Also in the choreography, we were always trying to dance two-dimensional. Mm -hmm. How you do idea, that? Actually. <laughs> <Yeah>. but <laughs> How you approach the body? Yes, we always try to be, you know, like Egyptians. There yeah. are a lot of things that we yeah, really try to be in a 2D um, environment. It's funny okay. if you then bring it to the screen, because yeah. that is already 2D. Mm -hmm. So become more flat. Yeah. So we try to be 2D for the 3D stage. Yeah. And that's what Mara then put in a 2D. Yeah. So it becomes very confusing. Yeah. Then if it's now, yeah. Which and that's that's the whole part what I very much like about the movie because it adds the whole play with artificiality mm -hmm. and the two dimensionality. Mm -hmm. Of course, here in the movie, the theatricality comes out even more on stage because the the stage set is so clean yeah. um, so, and so focused and also how everything is done with the light. I think the eyes of the audience can go much more to the physicality also and then to the choreography also. Mm -hmm. Me and Stephanie still find it a bit funny to see the movies every time. 
because be my next because we see like you to look at that yeah mm-hmm. because we see ourselves performing and we I, we see ourselves performing yeah. as if we would be on a stage and not in front of the camera so sometimes it gets a bit like for me yeah. <laughs> because i see i, I I see we're doing it in, wa- in the way how we would do it also on the also stage in front yeah. of an audience. Mm-mm. And uh, so sometimes we lose the fact that there is actually a camera in front of us. But what should you, should you do differently then? Because I, um, I didn't see... Oh, no. yeah, oh, that's a really hard question. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I, we definitely see it in our eyes. The way how our eyes are going are, are, much, are going Looking much more outward. further. Yeah, yeah. As if there would be an audience. Yeah, but it's and also uh, nice if you can so... Yeah, in this movie it doesn't matter. So yeah, yeah. It, in this movie it's it's quite fine. It's more in the previous ones. Mm. The eyes were really scanning very strangely. Mm. 